I'm doing a quick little video for 106 Pisca Drive. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, the house itself, when you see it from the road, which is pouring outside right now, um, it doesn't look so bad. But when you get inside, you have this. Um, the guy said that the, the gutters got backed up and got into the fascia. But you can see this is straight out running water in the rain. Um, I would love to walk through and do this, but this floor is so rotted that the first time I stepped right there, I just about went through. Um, it's the same right here um, that has gone through. So then when you walk in this like spot, it's you, you can see my foot is literally going through. So I'm going to try to sneak over here a little bit. But this is dicey, just to get to a couple other spots so you can see it. Um, here is the, the kitchen area. Um, according to the owner, has been ransacked by, I'm assuming, you know, vagrants or whatever. Um, this would be your laundry space. Uh, there is your... Um, your circuit, your breaker box. Uh... Again, um, the kitchen will go through. It is three bedrooms. The problem is I, I would like to walk through. I'm just not 100% sure this is going to be solid. I'm going to try a little closer, but this house is absolutely like, yeah, see, it's a little solid right here. But even here, the floor is not good. Um, there are some bathrooms back there. Our uh, bedroom back there, correction. Um, he did say it's set up for low good closets. And from what he told me, it's about 1,500 square feet. Uh, but there is a part of an apartment below here, uh, like a small apartment. And there's an underground parking um, under the house on one end. But again, um, this is so rotted that when you step, you know, I just don't feel comfortable walking back there because I don't want to end up in the basement. Um, so... I'm just trying to give you a rough idea of what we're looking at here. Um, then, once, uh, yeah, there's broken glass all over the place. Back in here is the master bedroom, and there is, uh, I think there's a bathroom back there as well, but like I said, I just, uh, all of that is wet and rotted, so I'm just not going to be in a situation where I can get to that comfortably enough to and I would not recommend walking in here either. Um, you can, I don't know if you can hear my, where I step, it's creaking like it's ready to let go. So, um, I, I will try to give you a little bit of a look from the outside, um, but with the rain, um, the, this porch is pretty old, it's soft. You can see up and down, it is terrible shape. Most of the windows are broken out. Um, it's just, it's not good. Uh, this is going to need to be gutted for sure and set back over that. So anyway, um, it's a pretty big piece of property, though. It goes all the way back to the river. So that part of it is, is you know, the one good thing in it is an area with a lot of rentals. So uh, people actually on the outside of a, you can see that um, it's a pretty big lot. Like if you, when you look at it, you think, okay. Not so bad, but then and down here is the area that goes up underneath. I'll just give you a little bit of a peek what we're dealing with, but you can see windows are all busted out. Um, you know, they've had people break in here a lot, he said, so they've had to chase out folks, so I'm not really looking forward to doing that either. But you can see they have just, you know, torn this place just to shreds. Uh, but this actually goes back, there's a river back there, and that's how far the lot goes back. I'll give you a little peek up underneath here. Um, but again, due to the rather unsafe condition, this, I'm really leery about, you know, walking in this. Um, but yeah, this is nasty. This is nothing but drinking and squatting, and it's bad. Like, you can see where things are all rotten through over there uh yeah there's no real apartment in this it's been torn up so bad uh, but 
yeah. That is the gist of this place.